Hey, welcome to The Daily Beard for April 16th, 2019. Back to Tozer, chapter three. All right, so chapter three of Tozer, uh, The Pursuit of God, is called Removing the Veil. First off, Tozer talks about God made us for himself. Literally, it says, what is the chief end of man? To glorify God and enjoy him forever. So that's like, if you want to know why we were made, that's why we were made. Sadly, we've broken with God and have fled from his presence, but as Tozer points out, you you can't hide from God. Like Adam tried, Peter tried, several people tried, lots of people have tried, <laughs> I've tried. You can't hide from God, he's everywhere, so just, you can't hide from him. So in this chapter, he gets into uh, the temple, the, the Jewish temple, um, the tabernacle. Um, and the tabernacle was set up with these veils where like you could only come so like if you were a normal person you could only come so far and then a priest had to take it from there and then there was an inner veil which like a veil you you think material but it's like you, i believe there were actual walls that you couldn't go behind so like the there's the outer veil and then the inner veil and then the innermost veil and the innermost veil you could only go in once a year one priest once a year and he had to be very special um and so he's talking, he talks about the veil and that, that inner sanctuary and how like it, it was setting up Jesus stuff because there's a candlestick, which is the only light in the first inner veil, um, not the innermost one, but the second one. And, and there's bread. So it's like, Jesus is the light of the world, the bread of the world. Like, you know, it's like, these are things Jesus identified himself with, but the veil, the innermost veil where you were only allowed to go once a year if you were a selected priest was where the actual presence of God was. That's where like the actual like God was. Like he's everywhere, but he, that's like, psh, that's where he was most, especially for the Jewish people. So if you don't know when Jesus died, the veil in the temple actually tore in half, the innermost veil tore in half. So it, it's to signify that it's gone, that we all have access to God now as Tozer puts it, bringing us straight into the divine presence. So Tozer talks about we're supposed to live in the very presence of God, but we live like this is a truth that we're supposed to to hold, but not that it's supposed to actually be life. Like we're actually, it's something we're supposed to, I know that, but not like we're supposed to experience it. Quoting Tozer, the world is perishing for lack of the knowledge of God and the church is famishing for the want of his presence. So it's not supposed to just be head knowledge, it's supposed to be heart knowledge, in particular heart knowledge, fire heart knowledge. He talks a lot about how God was represented through fire and that's probably our best representation of him that, for our understanding of what he is. He then goes into the fact that God is outside of time and all that that implies. It's brilliant. I highly recommend reading it, as always. And that God is in it in and of himself spirit. He's not bound by time but he is spirit and we have spirit and our spirit talks to his spirit and has communion with him and because his spirit is like fire it should consume us just like fire consumes things and then he gets to kind of the heart of the argument of why we don't why why are the church and people in general having a hard time experiencing this fire this like you know this this presence of god and it's because there's another veil um and in this in this point it's the veil that we've put there um, Tozer talks about that, that we've made this self-made veil that um, we're afraid to give up and it's made of fear and shame and love of sin and especially self-life and the self-life it talks about is self-righteousness, self-pity, self-confidence, self-sufficiency, self-admiration, self-love, depending on self and bringing everything back to ourselves. We've put up this veil that is separate, that is keeping us from living in the very presence of God. It's like he's still there, but it's this word like cutting off the Wi-Fi and acting and then trying to connect to the Internet. Make sense? That's a uh, modern interpretation. Tozer doesn't talk about that because Wi-Fi didn't exist when he was. Never mind. So he talks about Jesus shedding light on this veil and that he can tear it down. Quoting Tozer, we must invite the cross to do its deadly work in us. Literally, we have to die to self because, like I said, it's all about self-love and self-dependency and self-sufficiency. And we need to rely more on God, and we need the cross to to literally die to self. We have to embrace the fact that we got to give up ourselves, and then we'll be more like Christ, and we'll be more into the like we'll be into the inner sanctum. That veil will be gone, and we'll have better communion with God. So you got to die to self. So that's 
in a nutshell, a very quick nutshell. Again, read the book. It's great. It's so much better than I'm saying it is. And as always, uh, I'm going to end uh, with the prayer that he puts at the end of each chapter. So uh, today's prayer, Lord, how excellent are thy ways and how devious and dark are the ways of man. Show us how to die, that we may rise again to newness in life. Rend the veil of our self-life from the top down, as thou didst rend the veil of the temple. We would draw near in full assurance of faith. We would dwell with thee in daily experience here on this earth, so that we may be accustomed to the glory when we enter thy heaven to dwell with thee there. In Jesus' name, amen. Tozer. So, thanks for watching. Check back next week for chapter four. And uh, God bless.